had a felt board. My parents put up a chalkboard in our basement for me. I played school with my American Girl dolls. I played school with my friends and they probably hated it, but they did it for me anyway. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. A lot of you are new subscribers and I would love for you to get to know me a little bit better. So I decided to do the teacher tag video. I'm going to be taking questions from Two School for Middle School's teacher tag and also Genuine Teachings and Apples and Tiaras. I'll link their channels in the description bar below. What do you teach and where? I teach in Southern Maryland at a Title I school. I've taught fifth grade for five years and I'm currently going to jump down to second grade this coming up school year. I'm so excited for the challenge. I graduated from Marshall University in Huntington, West Virginia with a bachelor's in elementary education specializing in early childhood education. I studied abroad doing my student teaching and it was an amazing experience. I was placed in England and I met the best friends. Natalie and Emily, if you're watching, hi! Upon returning to the States, I was not a certified teacher before I graduated, so that summer I spent time taking the Praxis exams. Once the school year started, I still had not completed my Praxis exams, but I needed a job, so I decided to become a paraprofessional at the school that I'm currently teaching at. It was the first interview I got a call for and the first teaching position I was offered. In October 2012, the principal announced that they needed another fifth grade teacher. I applied and got the position. They took kids from each class and created my class. They also had to take the computer lab out and create the classroom for me, which is not an ideal situation for any school. And I'm sorry. <laughs> my first year of teaching was hard. I think Teach Like a Girl created a first year teacher tag. I might actually do that one next because I have a lot to say. What is your school mascot? We are the Soaring Eagles. How many students are in your class? Previously in my last fifth grade class, I had 29 students. It was insane, but a great experience to learn how to teach a larger class size. Next year, I anticipate about 18 to about 25 students. My ideal class size is 16. During my second year of teaching, I was able to get down to 16 students and we had the best time. You build great relationships with your students and they get to know you as well as you get to know them even better. However, 18 to 20 students is another ideal number of students to have. What is your favorite drink at Starbucks? I don't like to go to Starbucks often. However, when I do, I get the double chocolate chip frappuccino. What is your favorite or least favorite part about teaching? My favorite part about teaching is just the overall professionalism that I get to have with my students and staff. I've always wanted to be a secretary and I think teaching is the closest thing that I can get to a secretary and it might even pay a little bit more. The least favorite thing about teaching, I wanna keep my job. My least favorite part about teaching is how hard it is to get through to some students. Some students just don't enjoy school. I'm just going to say the paperwork because I feel like the real teachers are going to know what the least favorite part of teaching is. Who is your favorite teacher? I don't think I really have an all-time favorite teacher. My first grade teacher was my biggest influence in me wanting to become a teacher. However, I've had great teachers my entire life. I had a really good Algebra 2 teacher in 10th grade. I forget her name, but she was awesome. She genuinely took the time to get to know each and every one of us. I liked her teaching methods. She was engaging, she was nice, very kind, and again, she just genuinely wanted to get to know each and every one of her students. And she was there for us all the time. We could come and talk to her about anything. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers, Instagrams, and Snapchatters? So, if Ian's watching this, he's probably rolling his eyes because I'm obsessed with Pocket Full Primary. She's a teacher in Maryland and I watch every single one of her videos. I stalk her Instagram. So, Michelle, if you're watching, yeah, you got a fangirl right here. I also really enjoy watching Two School for Middle School and the Lettered Classrooms YouTube videos. I'll link them in the bottom bar below. For Instagram, there are so many that I have to get my phone out because I don't remember their Instagram names. I just always watch them. The Amy Grosbeck. True Tales of a Teacher. I don't even know them by their first names, I just know their Instagram handle. Just a Primary Girl. Easy Teaching Tools. Step into Second Grade. And you guys are gonna like hate me for not knowing their first names, but I just know their Instagram handles because they come up all the time. Welcome to Second Grade. And it's not welcome, it's welcome. And Miss Williams, y'all, I can't find your Instagram, but I totally am obsessed with her too. I'll link them all in the description bar below. What is one of your best classroom management tips? One of my best classroom management tips is just to build a relationship with your students 
from day one. It may take six to eight weeks, possibly even 10 weeks to build a relationship, but please be genuine in getting to know your students. If you are genuine in getting to know your students, managing your classroom will come so easy. You don't need a clip chart. You don't need Class Dojo. You don't need any sort of tangible thing to get your kids to like you. If you show love through your actions and words, they will love you in return. And managing your classroom will come so much easier for you. I feel that we're taught in college and on our social media sites that students need some sort of positive reinforcement in a tangible way. They need some sort of manipulative to make them happy. And that's not the truth. You as a teacher can make them happy. You can make them enjoy coming to school just to see your face. They will love it. They will want to please you and they will want to come and enjoy your company each and every day if you show that you enjoyed their company. Those students that you don't want to enjoy their company, fake it till you make it. One reason I decided to become a teacher is because my first grade teacher inspired me and I just honestly didn't know anything else. I was the student that always wanted to help the teacher. I always took home the extra checklists and attendance charts and pocket charts home with me. I wanted to be a teacher just like whoever the teacher I had was. I had a felt board. My parents put up a chalkboard in our basement for me. I played school with my American Girl dolls. I played school with my friends and they probably hated it, but they did it for me anyway. What is some advice I can give to a first year teacher or a veteran teacher? One piece of advice that I can give is to be prepared. It's better to be more prepared than to not be prepared at all. Don't go in thinking you're going to wing it and you're going to learn as you go. No, you need to over plan, over analyze everything, and then you can back down as the year progresses. Your students will know when you are not prepared. Your students will know when you are winging it. We have facial expressions. We have mannerisms that we will do when our students know that we don't know what we're doing. And sometimes, quite frankly, we wing it every day, but you need to fake it until you make it because those kids will definitely know if you know what you're doing or not. So my number one advice is to just be prepared. Go on YouTube, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, social media sites, and get those ideas flowing in your head ahead of time. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you create a teacher tag yourself if you are a teacher. Again, I took questions from Two School for Middle Schools, hashtag I teach two tag, and also genuine teachings and Apple and Tiara's teacher tag. If you like this video and you want to see more tag videos or you just simply like me, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, subscribe to my channel. Leave some comments down below and I'll be happy to create videos that you like. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.